is it like the e the ego is not allowed in the front door anymore, so it's coming around the side door? Yes, yes. Where, where he didn't, yes, he didn't think yeah. he was going to come in the side door because he'd never come in the side door. He'd always yeah. come in the front door. It's always the same door, but you're right. It's just, yeah. It, it looks, it just looks like he's 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 clever. He's crafty. That's the policeman. Sorry, that's the thief pretending to be the policeman to catch the thief. So the eager comes back and goes, don't worry, I've got the situation sorted now. I've seen through the doership, done that. I've realized myself, I've done that. I've got it sorted now. It's okay, everyone, you can go home. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. I've realized myself, I'm good. And then the ego's back on his, his throne again. You see? It's the thinking that me keeps on coming back. When you get, when you get a sense, a taste of ego, when that ego comes back, you're like, oh, I can smell it. I can smell that. I smell you. I can taste you. I can sense. Ah, I can sense who you are now. I don't need to think about it. It's like playing tennis. I know that shot wasn't good. I can feel it wasn't good on my racket. I can the way it felt when I swung when I did that backhand. I can feel that shot wasn't right. Yeah. I don't need to think about it because there's it's now that knowledge is being integrated into me. That wisdom has been integrated into me. I know the ego. I can feel it. So, but yes, it c comes in through the back door. Yeah, when you're not aware of what's happening, it will. The ego pretends to be you. You see, that's the trick. The thinking pretends to be you. Thinking comes in and goes, oh, I'm feeling really scared now. I'm going to go mad. That's not you. That's just the thought arising. But it pretends to be you. And that's the trick it plays. That's why it's called the false self. Because it's not the true self. Self means you, what you are. It's just a fancy word, or maybe not that fancy, but it's a slightly fancy word for meaning you. So it's the false self, meaning it's not really you. But it pretends it's you, and you somehow believe it. Now, if you want to be really accurate, you don't even you actually never believe it. It's the false self that believes in the false self. Wow. You are never subject, you actually never so as as the ego falls away, these teachers become clearer and clearer. Because the ego is the distortive factor, distorting factor. And as you know, when ego is very strong, that's tamas. When it gets weaker, that's rajas. As it gets weaker still, it's mixed, mixed sattva. As it gets as the ego gets weaker and weaker still, it's sattva. When the ego is gone, that's pure sattva or jnana, wisdom, self-realization. You see. But this is the distorting factor getting less and less and less. And as the distorting factor, which is the ego, which is ignorance, gets less and less and less, the veil clears, demists, and you can see things more clearly. And you realize that there was never any illusion. There was never any ignorance. There was never any ego. It was all an illusory process. So you never actually ever believe you're the ego. It's just the ego believing it's the ego. So presumably it has a finite number of tricks. It's, it's, got, it's got one trick. Ah. One trick. Oh, that's good. Yes. But it will use it's like it's like um that it's like that magician, one trick, and it just uses that one trick again <laughs> and again and again, and you get fooled every time. And it's got different variations. It's got countless variations of the one trick. And the one trick it has is called ignorance. It's when it pretends to be you. That's the only trick. And you believe it. But you never really believe it. Because you're the self. The self never believes anything. That's all. The belief is itself is, is within the domain of the ego. This kind of hypnosis going on. This kind of... Um, I don't know. Seeming entanglement. Where there is none really. So as, as it's becoming more subtle, is it becoming less powerful? 
yes manage yes it's becoming well not necessarily easier to manage mm. but it's becoming less powerful mm. it might i mean easier to manage um it may not feel like that subjectively mm. objectively speaking meaning like rationally speaking yes it's easier to manage and it's more subtle but it may feel you know you for example you might storm through the first part of your spiritual journey really well you know as you get through a lot you know you might do a lot of healing you might get you might cleanse yourself a lot of addictions or whatever issues traumas and then you can so actually the ego is thinned a lot but then you hit a wall at the subtle points you know so it doesn't always feel, from the seeker's point of view, easier to manage. Mm. 